Hello friend, Robin here with a 15 minute meditation to help you unwind, relax, and maybe even sleep. This meditation is intended to accompany session number six of the Peace That Passes Understanding Bible Study. This meditation will be distinctively Christian in both orientation and in purpose as we seek to practice the presence of God. We've discovered in this study that it is actually God's presence with us, God with us, Emmanuel, that brings us peace. In this session, we'll actually be meditating on his word, considering what it is to acknowledge that God is with us, and we will try to grow toward him as we also slip into sleep. We are resting in the Lord, both spiritually and physically. practice of the presence of God, as described by Brother Lawrence, is an exercise, a mental and spiritual exercise to continually consider God's presence with us. It's not easy to do to keep that conversation going with the Lord rather than with yourself. But when we do that, our whole being shifts away from the worldly, temporal viewpoint of what life is about and shifts over to the eternal, to the God view. I'm going to read a couple paragraphs. This one, it's a, it's a paragraph that talks of a continual praise of a, of a heart that is singing to the Lord. This is from Psalm 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your steadfast love in the morning and your faithfulness by night, to the music of the lute and the harp, to the melody of the lyre. For you, O Lord, have made me glad by your work. At the works of your hands, I sing for joy. There is a continual praise that is right and good. Here in Psalm 104, it says, I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have being. May my meditation be pleasing to him, for I rejoice in the Lord. David Powlison, one of my mentors, wrote this. He said, when you actually remember God, you do not sin. The only way we ever sin is by suppressing God, by forgetting, by tuning out His voice, switching channels, and listening to other voices. When you actually remember, you actually change. In fact, remembering is the first change. This is why it's good to be in Scripture, to read from the Bible often and to actually have enough of the Bible either memorized or actually just so very familiar that you can go back to it and remember it and think about it, that it becomes more real to us than 
than just words on a page, but it becomes part of the fabric of our being. The words of scripture themselves are not magic, but they are rays of light. They are reminders to us of God's presence, of his glory, of his holiness, of his worthiness to be praised, of his presence with us. To rest physically, to fall asleep when we are anxious, we need to first remember that God is here. So let's pray and then we will move into a relaxation exercise in which we will actually think about the ray of light reminds us of his presence. Oh gracious Lord, we do ask that you would help us to remember you to, to hold you close. We know you are very near. We don't have to shout to get your attention. We just need to whisper in our own minds. We need to, to move our mind's eye from the distraction that is, has it held and move it toward you, the reality of you and who you are and how great you are and that you loved us so much you want us with you so much that you sacrificed with great pain and suffering. You sacrificed yourself in order to fulfill the requirements that we would be with you. I recognize, Lord, that every time I stray, every time my thoughts move away from you, that I am actually forgetting how much you gave for me to be close to you. And I thank you, Lord, that you dwell within us. You bring us peace. You bring us stability. You bring us assurance. You bring us a taste of eternity. And that promise of eternity with you should make all the difference in the world as to how we live now. It should give us a stability. We should be unshakable. I do thank you, Lord, that in Scripture, the examples of human beings show that this peace that passes understanding is almost impossible for us to maintain, but that many, many of the examples in Scripture are of people who do grasp it, at least for a time, who grasp it and hold it. I thank you, Lord, for your willingness to dwell with us, your creatures, your lowly people. I'm amazed at your, your decision to manifest yourself through your people. Please help us to develop the character that you want us to have. Please help us to rest in the assurance, the knowledge of you. Please let your reality permeate our entire being fill our minds and our hearts and let our bodies rest this night. We pray this in Christ's name. Amen. There's an element of practicing the presence of God that is an intentional decision it's an exercise in which we push away the distractions and focus on the reality of God with us. And that's very similar to how we need to approach going to sleep when we are tense. We have to actually intentionally bring our mind away from the tensions, away from the stress, and onto the body that God has given us as a gift and ask our bodies, tell our bodies to let go of the tension. Our minds are very powerful things and, and how we think affects how we feel. How we think affects how our bodies respond. 
So right now I would like us to imagine the light of the Lord coming from him. Maybe it's, we can imagine it's from the starlight up above. Each star twinkling in the sky sends a ray of perfect light down into our hearts, into our minds. There's a ray of light that is proving God is true and right. Just like Psalm 19 says, the heavens are telling of the glory of God. These stars and their light, the fact that they exist, are telling us that God is real. And so let's imagine those light points of light from the stars coming right into our souls, right into our hearts and minds, and saying, God is here. God is real. God has made all of this. God has made you. You are his delight. You are his beloved. And right now you get to rest. You can just let him take everything from you, all your concerns. Lay them at the foot of the cross. Lay them in the heart of your Savior. Allow him to unburden you and release the tension that you're holding in your body. I'd like you to think of the light that's coming from those stars as being warm and melting away the tension that you're holding in muscles, in nerves, in all the soft tissues and all your organs. Just think of the warmth of his love. You get to be with the Lord all night long and just let him be with you. And when you wake up, you can once again be aware of his presence and be aware that he is walking through this day with you and desires you to talk to him. Not that endless closed loop of you talking to yourself and forgetting his presence, but rather talking to him thinking of him. As David Powelson said, when we truly remember him, we are staying on the right path. We are walking in the light. Oh Lord, would you please increase our faith? Would you increase our knowledge of you? Would you increase our awareness of you? Would you allow us to rest now within your presence, held by you, assured by you that this moment in time is just one small moment and eternity awaits. We will be with you forever. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for being with us. You are God, Emmanuel, with us and Messiah, our Savior. Through Christ, we can live in peace. We thank you so much, Lord. My friend, I'll let you drift off now. And I'll pray that your heart would be peaceful, not just tonight, but forever. Let our hearts be peaceful in connection, communion with God Almighty. Good night, friend. Sleep well.